Hey there! Today we're going to have a look at a pen that was lent to me by my main man Murray. This was during a pen meet and um, <clears throat> uh, he just brought a lot of pens and I, I, I'm going to review them. It's going to take a while. Um, I will say right now I don't have any of the boxes, right? So you're just going to have to look up what the boxes look like if you are massively interested in pen boxes. Okay, today we're going to have a look at this pen. This is a, it's nice when I do this, you can barely see it, sorry. This is a Navalure pen. Uh, this is the Nautilus Bronze. Um, as with the, the Navalure pens in general, there is a kind of a nautical theme going on and I think it's quite successful in this pen. Uh, the first thing I thought was the thought of was those sort of antique diving helmets, you know, sort of like the, 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 I don't know, copper, I always think it's copper, whatever, with the, with the glass and then the, the tube blowing air in, etc. And you can see these kinds of round windows, uh, portholes there, which, which I thought were very interesting. And they, they, they are the ink window for this pen. So I thought that kind of detail was really quite cool. So I'm going to cover the parts of the pen. I will do a writing sample and I'll tell you what I like about it and what I don't like about it. Let's get started. Okay, so here we go with the Navalure. Um, this is the Nautilus Bronze. Cor I still can't say this word. Corridoras, co Corridoras, Corridoras. That. Um, this is a nautical shaped, oh, sorry, nautical themed pen. Or it, you have these little round portholes, for example. Uh, I'll show you the, the details in just a second. It's $140. It's made of ebonite. Uh, it has, it's a bit oversized. It has a piston filled system. It has a number six nib available in fine, medium, broad, double broad, and 1.1 millimeter stub. Uh, number six, I think I said, it's steel, and that's pretty much it. So let's look at this pen. It comes in a, in a gift box, but I don't have that gift box uh, here because I borrowed this from Murray. As you can see, it is indeed a somewhat larger pen, especially, I would say, fairly uh, girthy. So what do we have? Well, let's, let's cover the parts of the pen. On top here, we have a little uh, sort of uh, bronze, like a lot of bronze on this, right? So a bronze uh, finial. Then we have the clip. This clip is nice and springy. We have a center band, uh, and that center band does say Narwhal. Uh, Narwhal, remember, is what the company was called initially. Uh, we have some, uh, I don't know, like wavy, wavy pattern uh, on there. And then we have these three portholes, which serve as an ink window because this is actually a piston filled pen. As I said, ebonite uh, barrel goes down straight, ends in this round turning knob. When you take off the nib, sorry, the cap, uh, you have this section, tapers down, flares out a little bit. And then we have this nib. Now one downside to um, uh, uh, me reviewing this right now. Oh, there we go. Medium. I couldn't find it at first. I must have overlooked it. Looked it in the wrong light. Medium nib. I was going to say, I don't know what nib grade it is, but it's medium. Okay. Um, plastic feed and as said, a somewhat larger pen that does not post. So you cannot post this at all. Uh, and, and, but like I said, it's, it's a fairly nice size, uh, especially uh, in ways of girth. So pretty good gold colored nib, um, but, but it is steel. I think what, uh, what else is there to say? I don't think there is much else to say uh, for me at this point. So let's do a writing sample. Here we have the Navalure Nautilus and if you don't mind, I'm not going to write down bronze and the word I cannot pronounce, Corridoras. I'm just going to go with that. Uh, medium steel and the ink is Waterman Serenity, Ser Seren Ser Serengeti Blue. It's Serenity. I'm just, it's been a day. Okay, writing.
The uh, writing is very pleasant. Smooth, nice, good ink flow. I have not had any issues with it. As I tried it, it didn't really run dry or anything, which very nice, nice writing performance. Um, pretty wet, which I think is really quite nice. It is, after all, nautically themed. <laughs> okay, um, springiness. There isn't much. but a little bit could be squeezed out. What about reverse writing? For those of you who enjoy such a thing, it is possible and it does turn this medium into, I would say, a very skinny fine or maybe an extra fine. So a fun pen and really I find it quite, quite comfortable. Uh, ebonite is also a fun material. Uh, it's been used in pens for a long time. Just make sure you don't leave this in water because it can discolor and sometimes warp. It's okay with the ink in it and then people are saying, but what about the ink? Yeah, that, that's okay on the inside. It doesn't matter. You, 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 you wouldn't mind any discoloration. But if you were to leave this in a cup of water overnight, then this, this shiny black would become less shiny black, kind of dull and boring. So there you have it. Um, nice pen, nice writer. Let's have a chat about what I like about it and what I don't like about it. What do I like? What do I not like about the Navalur Nautilus Bronze Corridora? I still can't say this word, so I'm just, I'm, I'm not going to bother. Um, I'm not a marine person. Now, what do I like about it? I think there's a couple of things to really like. It's, it's kind of a fun pen, it comes with a nice gift box, which I don't have access to, but you can find pictures online. Um, I think one of the advantages of this particular pen is the nautical theme and to me it, it works well. It's a larger pen so you have a nice canvas to work with and it's fairly subtle that you don't have this sort of um, like fish all over the pen or whatever. It's not like that, it's more subtle. I do really like these round porthole windows for the uh, for the ink window, I think that's a very nice touch. Overall, I find the pen comfortable. Like I said, larger pen, pleasant, comfortable to hold. Um, writes quite pleasantly, nice smooth nib, uh, which I, I really appreciate. I also like that um, Navalur is now offering these nibs in more uh, widths. So you have fine, medium, broad, double broad, and a 1.1 millimeter stub. I think that's very nice. Uh, so all that's really cool. Also piston filler, that's kind of nice that you, you have that built-in filling system. So I think there is a lot to be said for this pen. Um, if I have to come up with downsides, I will say it's, it's not an incredibly cheap pen, right? $140. Yes, it's piston filled, ebonite. There's not a gold nib though. And I think that's, for me, that's kind of the price range where I start to expect gold nibs. Uh, this is not. Um, so there, there is, uh, there is all that. Um, having said that, again, I think it's a fun pen, so I, I really don't, don't have any issues uh, with, with this. So I hope this was useful, um, and I'm glad to see you later. Bye.